Hello and welcome back to Haltech TV. Today we have the video review of the Noctua NF A9X14. Now if you want to check out the written review or the unboxing, there's links down below. The written review will have everything in a lot more detail. This is a lot more cut down um, and a kind of a quicker version of finding out the, the big details to do with this product. So if you want the full review, check out the written review. But for now, let's go in and take a look at the new Noctua NF A9X14 fan. So to start off with the cabling and accessories, what it comes with is four anti-vibration mounts. Now, as I stated in the NFA15 review, these go missing pretty quickly. Uh, a lot hard, uh, it's a lot harder to lose screws than it is to lose these, because uh, they just bounce around everywhere. So make sure you keep a tight hold of them. We also have four fan screws, a Y cable with this being a PWM uh, fan, and it being featured on one of their coolers. Uh, you have the Y cable there, so if you were to mount this on a cooler or whatever, uh, you could mount two using the same CPU uh, fan connector. It also features the um, low noise adapter, which is an RPM limiter, and a 30cm extension cable. Now, all the sleeving on all of these is extremely... Uh, good you have a kind of a rubbery feel like they've um, rubber coated the sleeving uh, so that you won't see any cables through it because you won't see any gaps form even when you're kind of smushing the cable together so the in terms of the cabling accessories um, a really good uh, level of quality as well as a good choice so you have all of these accessories and you don't feature certain accessories which are just pointless in having um, Noctua tends to choose fans, uh, tends to choose the accessories based on the fan, so if it's a PWM fan you'll get say the Y cable, whereas if it's not you might get a Molex adapter or something. Uh, so yes, moving on to the fan itself. So what we have here is the back of the fan, and I just wanted to emphasise a point. So we have the cable sleeving here, but one of the things I don't like about this fan is the fact that the cab cable uh, sleeving and the heat shrink only stops like a centimeter from the fan itself and then you have the bare cables through here we saw on the NFA 15 that the heat shrink went all the way through to about here and then you could see the cables and I would have preferred to see that because I think this is kind of something that makes the fan look a little ugly from a certain angle um, it is bearable um, and it's to be quite honest with this fan I really don't ca I don't care, but I have to point it out anyway, um, and that's the probably the one thing that I don't like about this fan. So it features a 20 centimeter cable. And if we go back to the front, what we find is again the AAO frame that we've seen on the rest of the A series and on the NFF12 when that came out. So we have the anti vibration mounts, the stepped inlet design, and the inner surface microstructures around the inside of the. Uh, chassis. Now I really really like the different design on the anti-vibration mounts on this. It's unique to this actual fan. The ones that are the fan the fans that are smaller feature a, a even smaller a design and the big fans feature the kind of removable ones. These uh, anti-vibration mounts aren't removable and they're a lot more firmer and kind of uh, smooth and glossy uh, uh, so, uh, smooth and matte feeling sorry um, and I really, really like these. I I think they look better than probably, you know, they're actually useful for. Um, and it essentially, I think it's kind of uh, something that finishes off the whole look of this fan. So we have, again, the uh, stepped inlet design, which is a little bit more curved on this fan. And I really like that. Um, and it, moving on from the AAO frame, we have, uh, I think it's a nine blade uh, design with the flow acceleration channels that, w that we've seen introduced onto the A series of fans. And it, essentially, I think the nine blade design and all of the rest of the features make this look extremely good. Uh, it's it's basically the best looking fan that I've ever seen um, and I think the colours as well, I think they definitely work with this fan. Some of the Noctua fans they don't work in my opinion but I think the colours definitely work with this fan. So moving around to the back again we have the SSO2 bearing system. Now we don't see the uh, brass bearing shell that we did on the bigger fans and we won't see it on, on the smaller fans as, as we go um, even smaller. And it's just a size limitation, and it 
um, as I was told, it, you don't really benefit actually from them and, and obviously they've checked that uh, so there's really no benefit. Um, so yes, moving on to performance, um, so that was the design aspect of this fan and we'll move on to the performance now and then my conclusion and it, uh, then I'll obviously say goodbye. Moving on to performance with the Noctua NF uh, A9 X14. For a 14mm thick fan, this is exceptional. It's only 13.8 CFM less than their previous uh, B9 PWM fan. And it's, it's, it's basically just as quiet as well. And you would think that because it's a thinner fan, it has to run faster. So this one's at 2200 RPM. Uh, therefore, it would be louder. But it's not that much louder. It's, uh, I think it's around 2 decibels louder on paper, however, I actually, I couldn't hear this as much as I could hear the B9. I could hear the, the B9 a lot more. And it, you would think that's, that is also wrong as well, because it should be as kind of a higher pitch. And it, it wasn't. With the A9, I could only hear it from certain angles. So I had to kind of set it up. And this was in a noiseless environment, so everything else, there was no sound whatsoever. All the electronics, all the fans, everything was turned off. All that was on was this, and it obviously a, a power supply, uh, but I could only hear this from certain angles, and it, even then I could only hear it a little bit, and this was in an open environment. When I put it in a case, couldn't hear it at all, and when I put the low noise adapter on, it was basically silent. Uh, so performance wise in terms of noise, it, it's, it's essentially really, really quiet, close to silent, and with the, the low noise adapter, it is silent. and it, with uh, in terms of airflow, it pushes a lot, not that much less than its uh, B B9 variant, and it's uh, yeah. So in terms of performance, it's exceptional and bulk quality as well. I mean, it flexes very little for a 14 mm fan, which is clearly due to like the the internal structure uh, making it a lot more rigid than um, kind of a basic fan design. Uh, so yes, moving on to the conclusion. My conclusion is essentially very, very simple. This is a perfect fan, in my opinion. Everything about this, you know, I like a lot of the features on the A-Series as it is, but everything on this seems to be refined even more. So you've got the anti-vibration mounts on this, different to the rest of them, and personally I think they look a, a ton better than, than any other anti-vibration mounts. Uh, all the, the, say the stepped in light design, it's smoother, yet sharper somehow. And personally, I think it looks, it's the nicest fan I've ever seen. And my favourite fan used to be the F12, and now it's the A9X14. Uh, which basically, it, it, it says a lot. For this fan to, to essentially be my favourite looks-wise, and actually performance-wise, um, you know, it has to be of some standard. And it, in terms of the looks alone, for those customers who might have bought Noctua fans uh, in the past but haven't bought any recent fans, they've actually changed the colouring slightly. So we have the NFB9 PWM here, which isn't an old fan, it was released not too, I, I say not too long ago, compared to say the non-PWM version, it's quite a new fan. Um, and as you can see, the, the lighter brown areas have turned a little bit more grey military rather than pink and the uh, brown on the fans has become a little bit lighter, a little bit of a nicer brown. So it's becoming a little bit more military to suit the uh, military designed cases and motherboards and it, uh, what have you. So looks wise, perfect. Design wise, perfect. It's very, very rigid for a 14mm fan. There's very little flex to it. And in terms of performance, I mean I couldn't ask for a better fan. for. For a 14mm fan, this pushes a ton of air, and I could re recommend it in any situations. Whether you're going to be using it in low profile situations or not, it is perfect. Uh, because, you know, what you may lose a tiny bit in performance, you gain everywhere else. Um, so, yes, essentially, I couldn't recommend this fan more. And it's received uh, both 10 out of 10 on value and its overall performance rating, essentially. Um, basically... With it uh, being released to the market at around £13 in the UK, um, give or take uh, a, a little bit, um, it reaches the same level as, say, the A6 or the A4. So it was around about the same price. 
while not uh, while being a, a bigger fan, I would have expected it to maybe come in at around the twenty pound price range that the bigger fans have come in because it is still I'd say it's still in in kind of the middle ground between the small fans and the big fans. So for thirteen uh, pound, you know, essentially for me, for what you're getting. Um, which is essentially a knock to a fan for thirteen pound. This this can't this can't get less than a ten. So essentially, ten out of ten for both. So it's received our platinum award, which is a very big thing because even the F12, my favourite fan from the past, didn't receive a um, platinum award. So this is the first product on the Haltech TV website review network. Blah 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 to review to review to receive the platinum award. Um, so yeah, that is my conclusion and I'll say goodbye now. So there we have it, that was the video review of the Noctua nfa 9 x 14 If you want to check out the unboxing or the written review, uh, so if you want to see what it looked like when it came out of the box, or if you want to have a little bit more in-depth detail into the fan, you can check out those links in the description box below. I've got links to both of them. If you want to check out the website for any other products, the links will also be down below. And bookmark it while you're there, because there's a lot of content on there that you won't find anywhere else on the Haltech TV network. Um, if you want to contact us for any reason, uh, there's three particular email addresses. There's one for inquiries, one for uh, you as, a, as a, the public to request us to review a product, and there's one for general business. So if you want to contact us for any of those three reasons, or just in general, if you want to contact us, use the appropriate email address down below. And while you're doing all of that, why don't you head over to the Facebook page and give that a like. And also there's the Hal Thompson Facebook page uh, where I give you know, a lot of background stuff, so background photos, what's going on, you know, a lot of uh, behind the scenes stuff, so uh, why don't you go and like that as well. Other than that, I'm Hal Thompson, this has been another Haltech TV video, don't forget to subscribe, and goodbye.